Prince George's County law requires all gas stations and convenience stores to abide by the requirements listed in CB 48-2013. Hello, my name is Officer Harry Bond with the Prince George's County Police Department. And I'm Officer Nicole Hubbard. The Prince George's County Police Department would like to partner with you in protecting your business or workplace. We hope this video will make it easier for you to stay safe and understand Prince George's County law. Let's start with the security system. County law requires that all convenience stores and gas stations have a surveillance camera system with at least three highly visible digital high resolution color cameras. Take a look at these two pictures. The one on the left is crisp and the suspect is easy to see. The one on the right is grainy and likely won't help police find the suspect. The installed cameras are required to be placed in specific spots. One must go above the cash registers and must be positioned at an angle so it records customers at the counter. It should not only be focused on the employee. Another camera must be positioned in view of the public entrance. A third camera must be placed to show the parking lot. Also, the cameras must record all business activity 24 hours a day. Motion sensing cameras are required to record when activated. The recordings need to be saved for at least 30 days even if a store is closed. Owners also need to make sure the equipment is working properly. The system must have an annual test photo and a log showing maintenance every four months. A convenience store owner must install a drop safe that an employee cannot access. The drop safe should be either operated by a key lock or time delay. The safe must be bolted to the floor behind the cash register or in an office. The safe must be in view of a high resolution surveillance camera. A gas station owner without a convenience store has two options. The owner can either install a drop safe or establish another plan to ensure that no more than $150 is in the cash register any time between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. By county law, Convenience stores and gas stations are not allowed to keep more than $150 in any cash register on the premises between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. as a condition of their use and occupancy permit. A written cash management policy that limits cash on hand in the convenience store or gas station from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. must be provided to all employees. Convenience stores and gas stations are busy businesses with a lot of customers coming and going and a lot of money exchanging hands. Follow these tips when handling cash. Never count cash in front of customers or in a non-secure area. Don't let too much money sit in the register. It may attract criminals to come back and rob the store. It's best to frequently remove cash and move it to the drop safe. We also suggest making frequent deposits to a bank so cash doesn't add up at the business. This reduces the chances a criminal will want to rob the store. The most secure way of doing this is by hiring an armored truck service. But if you choose to make your own cash deposits, follow these tips. Never walk out of the store with the money in plain view. Keep it hidden. Don't go to the bank at the same time every day. Vary the time you make the deposit. It's best for two employees to make the deposit. When opening and closing your store, it's best to have two employees working. One person should remain outside the store and watch the second employee open or close the store. That way, the first employee can immediately call the police if he or she spots anything suspicious. Also, be aware of suspicious people and cars. If you see something that makes you uncomfortable, don't hesitate to call 911. All convenience stores and gas stations are required to keep a clear view 
of and from the cash register and sales areas. Windows and doors must stay clear of all items that could obstruct the view from three feet above the ground to at least six feet above the ground. The business must also post highly visible window signs in English and Spanish, detailing that there is a drop safe in the store. Employees do not have access to the safe. There is an active security system on the premises if applicable. No loitering and no trespassing, and that there is limited cash in registers at any time between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Here are important safety tips in case of a robbery in your store. Try your best to remain calm and follow the robber's demands. If possible, try to use a silent alarm to notify police. Be sure to make mental notes of the suspect or suspect's characteristics. Are they short or tall? What color hair did they have? How was their hair cut? What was their race? What were they wearing? Did they have on a hat? What colors were their clothes? Do they have a tattoo or other identifying marks? Did something stand out to you, like a chipped tooth or accent? Also, if possible, pay attention to how the suspects get away. Did they leave by car? What color? Two-door, four-door, a truck? Try to look at the license plate. What state is it from? What direction did they drive? Did they run away on foot? Which direction did you last see them running? Every little detail you can provide police will help. Right after the robbery, lock the door of the store. Your very first call should be 911. It's best to keep any customers inside the store because they can help police with important witness information. If the customers have to leave, Ask them for contact information to help police. Write down what you saw during the robbery from the detailed list we just provided. We know the video contains a lot of information, but it's vital that you know these facts. Each employee must complete a safety training program provided by their employer or watch this training video provided by the Prince George's County Police Department before their first workday. We thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope it helps you and your coworkers understand county law and stay safe.